What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Ever since uh, season three of Selling Sunset drops on Netflix, the internet has been heavily Team Chriselle. The only two people I've heard of who are not Team Chriselle are Davina and Christina, but those are two people we don't mention around here very much. So um, here's what happened. She talked about on the show how she found out via text message that her husband, her partner of six years, although they were only married for two, they were together for a total of six years, Justin Hartley filed for divorce and only notified her via text message. We saw her break down. It was so hard to see, um, you know, how devastated she was by the entire thing. And so, of course, the internet rallied behind her because that is a horrible way to leave someone after you've committed to be their part, being their partner for life in the form of a marriage. So, one person in particular is stepping up to uh, defend Justin, you know, and she just so happens to be his ex-wife, Lindsay. Lindsay and Justin were married for a total of eight years and together they have a 16-year-old daughter named Isabella. So she decided to go online and throw Chriselle under the bus with a post that reads, and I quote, I'd like to share some social media positivity by highlighting my appreciation for my family. Today, I appreciate my ex-husband Justin for not only being an exemplification of a solid man, but for being my dear friend and devoted father to our daughter. Simply put, for being family. We derive our own opinion of people by experiencing life and time together, and we do our best to hold dear the ones that maintain consistent kindness, love, and generosity. No matter what conflicts Justin and I had in the past, I appreciate what we have today, and I am thankful for the family we have built. I mean, I get her being a little bit defensive of him, you know, for the fact that they share a daughter and will always be family, you know, based on that connection. But I don't love her undermining Chriselle's experience of Justin so much. It feels like she's sort of implying that Chriselle is leading some sort of crusade against Justin, you know, by saying that social media should be used for positivity and that like he's been consistently kind, blah, blah, blah. Like it, it kind of feels to me like she's saying, oh, listen, like don't believe what you're hearing out there. This guy is 100% nice, which you know what? Listen, people are so multifaceted. We're all different people to different people. You know what I mean? Like there's different aspects of you that come up with people. So, you know, sure, what she's saying could be true for her, that Justin was always kind and reliable and dependable and all of these wonderful qualities. But that does not mean that he was not this person that Chriselle is portraying him as being, or, um, you know, this person that Chriselle experienced. Because, you know, from what Chriselle is sharing with the world, she experienced a person who was all those great things that Lindsay claims that he is, yeah, until he wasn't, right? Like, you know, she's saying that um, at some point he blindsided her by filing for divorce without even having a conversation about it. He texted her about it after the fact. She felt like she had to scramble to get out of her house, you know, that she spent years making into a home with this man. And, you know, in defense of Chrishell too, she talked about on the show how much she loved Justin's daughter, which is the daughter that Lindsay is talking about him being a good father to. So in my opinion, I'm kind of like, what could have gone so wrong in his relationship with Chrishell that he had to blindside not only Chrishell, but his own daughter, who, for lack of a better word, grew up with Chrishell. Like, she would have met Chrishell when she was around 10 years old, and now she's 16 years old. So she had some sort of, like, incredible uh, bond, emotional bond with Chriselle over the span of those few years that was just ripped away seemingly for no real reason if what um, Chriselle is saying seems to be true. The only thing I will agree though is well, with the people who feel as though Chriselle is downplaying some aspects of their relationship. I personally am not sure that I believe that there was no completely no signs or completely no big fight that would have led to something like this. Chriselle did kind of hint at it here and there on the show. She said that they had a huge fight that morning and then that's when he filed, but she didn't talk about what the fight was about. And there are a lot of conspiracy theories going around on the internet that the fight was about having kids, um, you know, which could potentially be true. Like people are uh, pointing to conversation she had with Mary on the show where she talked about how she thought she would have been a mom by now. Like, you know, maybe that was a little bit of a hint of what was to come, you know, to end their relationship. 
And um, her co-star Christine also talked about how uh, Chriselle and Justin were in uh, couples counseling for their relationship issues, which is something that you don't see in the side that she's portraying on this show. So yes, I do believe that there are some aspects that she is downplaying. I don't know if it's for the sympathy edit or if it was just plain out edited out of the series. You know, they shoot hundreds, maybe thousands of hours for this show. And like what? Each episode is only 30 minutes and each season is only like six to eight episodes. So understandably, some of that would have been cut out, um, but it still does not discount what went on here uh, in terms of Chriselle's experience of Justin. Like it's not fair for Lindsay to claim that Justin is 1000% a nice person as if that is the universal truth, as if Justin is not a different person for different people, as if anybody is not a different person for different people. Guys, how do you feel about um, uh, Lindsay speaking out in support of Justin? I think she's the first and only person, besides Davina and Christina, of course, to support Justin while the internet talks about how awful it was for him to just throw his wife to the curb like a used toothbrush. Make sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below, and as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.